uh, <clears throat> I want to I want to hear a little bit about your trip to Chicago and the uh, uh, Aaron gave me a, a couple of little nuggets about the. Uh, about the, the the clientele at the Hugo Awards, can I hear a little bit about that? I don't. I, 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 it was uh, it was very interesting. Uh, I, I I tell you, like the uh, the Hugo Awards, both at the pre uh, reception. It, but, explain to everybody what the Hugo Awards are. Oh, it's, I'm sorry. It's the uh, Hugo Awards are are the science fiction awards, but we were nominated for one for the community episode Remedial Chaos Theory, which involved multiple timelines uh, and technically qualified as science fiction, I guess, because it asks the question "What if?" Uh, which is how I would define sci-fi. And uh, we were honored. And Chris McKenna, the writer of the episode, and I went uh, with Chris's brother and my girlfriend Aaron to Chicago to go to the uh, Hugo Awards ceremony. Ceremony. And uh, it was amazing to be back in the Midwest and specifically to be back in the Midwest in a science fiction environment because the body shapes like were so I have been not, so I have been the fattest guy in Los Angeles for a long time. <laughs> And uh, and I was like uh, from Krypton to Earth, uh, like like in Rekka. I was like, wow, I am hot um, and able-bodied. <laughs> like, lots of rascals, lots of leg braces, lots of scooters, lots of uh, the uh, uh, steampunk tanks to help people breathe. <laughs> G- goggles, tiaras. Those, those are called oxygen tanks. <laughs> Uh, just a lot of gimmicks and things. Like it was, it was very, it was very cool. These are my people, after all, and all of you are here. Just because we moved to LA to try to force our will on the on the public uh, doesn't mean that we're extra sexy or anything. But we, like, I, I like to think that the Harmontown people are a, a nerdy people, uh, and so I was, I was definitely home. Uh, and uh, but, but like the. It's very. It's just very interesting. Like the archetypes, like the the the, the rotund women who, like they 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 want to dress fancy. Nothing is lost on them about the idea of let's have a big fancy ball, but they all like want to do like well, fancy means Victorian or like like Dragon Times. So, like so, <laughs> everyone's kind of like wearing these costumes. Like everything's as fancy as they can muster, but without without buying into the bullshit like black tie uh, 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 paradigm. You know, so, so, so what everyone's they, walking what around. It's like Doctor Demento's walking around <laughs> getting tea cakes with uh, with women dressed like uh, just. Aphrodite and, um, and 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 no music, never from 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 the moment we got there to the moment we left, um, and we left soon because there was no music. And I'm not, we, we weren't like we're too cool for this. Uh, like like we we got there before the award show. We were told show up two hours before the award show to this reception. You're, so you're in this like banquet hall, no music. Everybody like totally cool. Like they're all they're, they're all good people. They're all clearly like like they've all been bullied and they're all very smart and they've all they're all dressed to the relative nines, um, <laughs> by as per their galactic definitions of the nines. Um, they're, they're dressed to the nine kelvins. Um, uh, so, so like I said, there's like octopi walking around and, and that, that's that's not true. I don't want to I don't want to conjure that image. You, You've all been to Comic Cons uh, where there's a stormtrooper. This wasn't like that. This was like this was like an eyes wide shut, like like kind of like like back room at a, at a at a real sci-fi convention, you know, like like where the like you're not allowed to like these are these are like the the people that are into sci-fi books uh, and and maybe a couple movies if they're really book uh, based, <laughs> like they're they're they they like the smart stuff and they and I think they like fucking I think I I I because there it's just like there's a lot of cleavage a lot of like 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 a lot of like just like, like taking your boobs and pouring them into things like renaissance like, fair like, kind of stuff because at the ren fair there's, it lo- felt, it there's felt, lots of bodices and uh it felt a little ren fairy yeah 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 like 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 in the sense that it was like yeah let's be fancy tonight but, did but, they, but, did but they, let's not buy into uh hugh jackman's version of fancy did they embrace you did they recognize you or know you or? I, I think we felt we felt i'm sure everyone felt this way but we felt very nerdy we felt outcast we felt we felt lonely we you were walk. nerdy at the sci-fi, thing? right? Because we were just guys in suits, like like just and 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 we, so we found a table like you did in high school, except <laughs> and, and just found a quiet corner and sat and, and and then some people like made the effort to talk to us and then we loosened up a little bit and uh, but we felt very like like outside and, and like uh, uh, kind of off put and for good reason because I, I when we checked in at the convention the woman that checked us in said what's your name and I said Dan Harmon she said oh uh, community. 
I love that show. Love that episode. I said, oh, thank you very much. He said, you're not going to win. Uh, as I said, I don't mean any disrespect, but you're up against The Doctor's Wife, uh, written by Neil Gaiman, uh, who, who is the David Lee Roth of science fiction, apparently. Uh, and, and this episode was the Panama of, uh, of uh, Neil Gaiman things. That's how, Wait, I, there was just no way we were going to win. And she, 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 did the, she did me the courtesy of letting me know that as I got my name tag. Uh, which I appreciate. <laughs> was it? Was there, Was there any rehearsal for like your uh, interaction with the show? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They asked that we show up early. Uh, and I've been involved in other award shows, and this has never happened. Um, we had to show up for an orientation <laughs> in case we won, which just adds to the humiliation of losing. But. <laughs> Also, it was like a real, like, it was weird. We walked in, and uh, this woman just, uh, she was like five foot, like, nothing, and like, like just, she had designed the award. Oh, boy, I don't know how to explain this. It's, it's like, it's, I want to impart to you guys the misery <laughs> so that you can turn it into enjoyment. I, 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 but I don't know how to do it without making you miserable. <laughs> Like you walk in and the, and then you're in the space and they explain to you how to walk upstairs and I guess I guess every basically everyone there has Aspergers every every single person it's that's that's what's normal like 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 I, Wait, I the, 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 the attendees or the uh, recipients? everyone every single person every security guard every bartender every 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 every, every woman that's going to hand you a trophy or the woman that made the trophy the 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 people voting for the trophies every, everyone in attendance everyone has Aspergers. It's, it's 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 just Asperger, Ascon. <laughs> and, and so I, I I I I walked in and they and they because they 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 were just like ah oh, welcome <laughs> as it pertains to I said, the obligatory instructions will now proceed. Uh, <laughs> You see, the uh, stairs are in the center of the stage. Uh, you will, uh, if you win, and should you win, I will not presume that you should win. However, I should uh, the condition that you should win. If it was uh, X or a gate, I suppose you might win. If you do win, please proceed in an orderly fashion up the stairs in the middle of the stage. If you try to go up the left or right stage, uh, you will uh, uh, instantly break your legs, as there are no stairs. <laughs> uh, so go up the middle. Uh, there is an X marked on the stage where you would pause with the statue. Uh, do not hold the statue. Uh, there are glass wings on the statue. Do not hold them like handles or it will shatter, and that would be a bad thing. <laughs> uh, investigate stairs. <laughs> I investigate the stairs. Investigate I examine the, the stairs. stairs. Uh, it there, was just, there was a giant pig on the top of the stairs? It was just 40 minutes of people telling you what to do should someone give you an award. <laughs> And it turns out what you should do is go up the stairs. <laughs> take the statue, thank everyone, and leave. <laughs> That's what you should do. But it, it, it was just, they, they Arthur C. Clarked it, man. Like they, but, but there, there was no music was that, during the awards ceremony? Like that, there like, was, okay, so back to that. So that was the rehearsal. We had to show up for that. That was the orientation. We, then we were ushered to the back of the room where the, the woman who invented the awards, like, or who designed them for the last three years, she's the, she's the genius that put glass wings on the back of a rocket ship that you can't hold them by. <laughs> um, so, so it was another 40 minutes of her explaining don't hold the rocket by the uh, instinctive place where you would hold it if it was handed to you. And it acted like, instead of an apology, it was just like presumption. It was, it was like, hey, fuck you for thinking you should hold this thing in any other way than the prescribed function. I, 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 I just told you how to mail it back to yourself in a special box if you want it. And you did walk out of there thinking two things. F fuck, if I don't win this thing, I'm going to feel like shit. And on the other hand, I just saved myself an asshole to work. <laughs> Uh, she showed you how to polish it. She showed it, and everyone kept saying, like, because the, the, the statue's shaped like a rocket, don't hold it like a dick, because it looks like a dick. Like, a, no, no one's just saying the word dick. Like, it looks like a dick. Like, it's a, everyone keeps making jokes about how it looks like a dick, but no one says it looks like a dick. Like, all the, all the, all the women keep going, oh, yeah, they told us not to hold it like this, or clean it like this, or hold it like this. It's like, yeah, because it looks like a dick. It looks like a, like a big silver dildo. So, like, like, own it or fucking, uh, our bonnet. Our bonnet. <laughs> well. <sighs> uh, 
Yeah, so we got the tutorial about how to clean it. This is a fucking thing that I'll never see again in my life, and now I know how to clean it and set it so, up and mail so, it to myself. So you didn't win. Uh, as Aaron pointed out, a simple 3x3 three three Xerox set of instructions taped to the bottom of the statue would have sufficed, I think. <laughs> when you, If you want to uh, get a look on the bottom. Oh, here's how I mail this back to L.A. Um, but uh, uh, we went through a lot of that stuff. Then we went to the reception. No music. No fucking music. Like, Was there music when people accepted the award? Like, they, 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 no. They didn't play them on? With no. Any, like, I'm telling you, I'm Doctor taking Who? you through this chapter by chapter. <laughs> there's, there's three chapters to an award show. The reception, the award show itself, and then the, the post after party. After party. No music at either of those what? things at any point. <laughs> imagine an award show. First of all, imagine a reception I would see, I would where have... everyone's just eating tea cakes and going like, hey, what are you nominated for? I don't know. No music. You're murmur, just standing murmur, in a room. Murmur, murmur, murmur. And then they all go, everyone come in here, come into this room. And then you go to the room. And then they go, it's time for the awards. No, it should have been silence. It should have been, it's a dead man's party. Who could I? It, it should have been like the greatest adventure. <laughs> lies or, ahead. or the theme from Inception or fucking anything. <laughs> like, like what, are, what are nerds better at than fucking like, like, like soundtracks? You know, yeah. Like, that's what we love. Uh, I guess it would maybe somebody complained. You know, you know what it was? I guarantee you, some, some Aspergian person was like, um, the, uh, the, the, tech, the tech is not good tonight. The, uh, the speakers are <laughs> Not up to snuff. I, I will not play my set list with the uh, with subpar speakers. And uh, uh, good news and bad news. Um, <laughs> the good news is the sound system is optimized for verbal communication. Uh, <laughs> There will be no pops and whistles. Uh, the bad news is it's basically uh, anti-optimized or de-optimized uh, for anything other than it, which happens to include tonight's selection of music, which is provided by Angela, and I wish she was not consulted uh, about this, and so I don't know uh, what is happening at this point in time, so I basically uh, don't know what to do. Uh, all right, Stephen. Well, uh, I guess no music then. Or like, someone just forgot to play music, because that happens a lot. I was thinking that somebody complained the previous year, and they're like, Look, I don't understand why why there's music playing, uh, uh, you know, yes. like like some music offended them or something. Yeah, your, your Ben Folds 5 uh, yeah. is, uh, <laughs> uh, seems to be running contrary like to it my It just level. wasn't logical to play music. Uh, <laughs> and then, so they just all stripped it down. So this award ceremony was just a, Not like the trophy itself, was just a silver dildo. Just like a, <laughs> just a, just a finely shaped like thing that could just impale you. Did anybody right make up. any, any uh, silver dildo jokes or was it? Well, only... Before and after the show, not during like nobody, the show. Nobody. Uh, every, here's what everyone did because everyone had been instructed as we were about how to hold the trophy and how to handle it, and to not make it look like a dick when you held it. So every single person who won an award accepted it from the woman who hands you the award, and then and then looked at it like a soiled baby and handed it off to someone oh. else. Like, are you, really are, weird. Are you happy you went, or would you, would you rather have not? not, not I'm have very gone? happy I went. I got I got a, a 20 minutes of me being a big fucking asshole bull. Uh, out of it uh, in my podcast. <laughs> no, I don't know. No, I was happy I went. I, 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 like I said, I was honored to be there. Like it was, as I, as I've said, it was my big, big, big chance to lose to Doctor Who instead of Big Bang Theory for a change. <laughs> like that's a that's a. You know, that's nice. That feels good. <laughs> to, to, to write a sitcom that gets nominated for a sci-fi award, you, I'm doing something right slash wrong. <laughs> now, I wanted to be you, there for got, that. 